Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Today is August 14th, 2019. And we're doing another live stream, pop out chat. And this is the third food related stream that we're doing this week. We uh, made some more liqueur uh, a few days ago. Uh, what did we make? We made the uh, pineapple and blackberry liqueur. Um, a couple of days ago, three days ago we made that. A couple of days ago we made blackberry jam that we picked. And today we're making applesauce. That apples that we picked. Uh, or that I picked. So we're, we're coming from blackberry picking in South Field with like three, four different apple trees. And each apple tree was different. And uh, I parked the car. Uh, we knew the apple trees were there. Uh, some years we make it when it's ripe. Some years we don't make it when it's already done or we're too early and stuff like this. This year was perfect uh, when we got there. All four apple trees, the apples were ripening on them. So ended up picking some apples. I posted the pics on Discord and whatnot. And come on, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. And uh, what we're doing is making crab apples. Uh, not crab apples, applesauce today. I haven't gone crab apple picking. Maybe this weekend. If we hit it right, we'll get some crab apples. Fantastic crab apples. I'm going to play a list of how to make crab apple sauce um, or ca crab apple jam. So this weekend, uh, we might go crab apple picking. Uh, hopefully, we hit it at the right time. And we can harvest some, and if we do, we're gonna make some crab apple butter as well. Okay. Um, aside from that, let me show you the apples here. Actually, maybe we'll show you the apples in a few minutes when people start rolling in. Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Morning, morning. Hope all is well. Doing well, man. I've been sampling our here. Let me show you guys uh, the blackberry jam. Casey, how you doing? All shrews, how you doing? Good afternoon, Chicho. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to Casey. Uh, and good morning to uh, those of us in the West Coast. Oh, Mac, how are you doing? I don't know if I've ever had good applesauce. Really? I've made some kick-ass applesauce. Really, I've made some fantastic applesauce. Uh, you can make it sweet. Applesauce goes so many different ways. You can make it super sweet. You can make it super tart, tangy. Uh, like we have applesauce with meat dishes, uh, just on the side of dishes, or I mix it in with yogurt. Uh, it's just, it's, it, it, it's, it's a pretty good staple to have. Like, let me show you here. Uh, hey, Chicho. Uh, just popping in to say hi, Spotty. How you doing? I'm on my way to the cinema to see Quentin Tarantino's new films out today. Wow, or it must have been out a week or so ago, or a couple of weeks ago. Maybe I heard some stuff about it. Hope you have a good stream. Hope you have a fantastic, uh, a fantastic movie outing. I hope it's a good show. Uh, I think I heard a couple of things. Some people didn't like it. Some people liked it. Some people said it was slow. Uh, I don't mind slow, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> right? Calm it down, chill it down. I gotta put on my glasses. I gotta put on my glasses. Randall Thor, how are you doing? Sam Sticks, welcome, welcome. Saw it a few nights ago. Love Tarantino, awesome, awesome. I I like Tarantino. I like I like the, most of the stuff that he's put out. I've never had homemade, so maybe that's why. Uh, the corporate stuff. Yeah, the corporate stuff is just the ones you buy in jars or i never buy cans i try never buy cans but uh jars is it's like baby food but gross <laughs> right yeah i don't buy applesauce ever ever uh, awesome it's come out today in the uk i'm really excited nice nice night night how are you doing how's it going brother doing well doing well slow is fine with me. yeah slow is long movies that take time especially movies where they do they don't cut they 
the camera spans. One of the greatest ones is All Quiet in the Western Front. Um, Kubrick, I think it's called All Quiet in the Western Front. Uh, is that the movie? Uh, the, the one where uh, Kirk Douglas, I think, is walking in the trenches. Wow, 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 wow. What a scene. What a scene. Right? I won't speak on the movie directly, but Tarantino is a master. I think both he and uh, Christopher Nolan are cinematic geniuses. Cool. Applesauce and yogurt. Damn good. Damn good. Damn good. Then here, let me show you the one of the applesauces I have. <laughs> this is from 2015. I haven't cracked this one open. It's still sealed, right? So it's still sealed. Uh, apple, pear, and sugar from August 2015, like four years ago, right? Pick some local pears and local apples and make some apple sauce, right? This one I haven't touched. Um, I had a few jars of that, um, but may consume that, may not. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to crack it open again. I haven't eat, eaten it for a while, so I forget what the flavor was like. But it was delicious, right? It was that one was tart, so we ate it with lambs and chickens and stuff. It's really good. This one is going to be uh, semi-tart as well. I'm not going to add too much sugar. Uh, let me show you the blackberry jam that we made um, two days ago, and um, I, I I mentioned towards the end that I thought it was too sweet. I changed my mind. Maybe not too sweet. It's, it's super good. Here, this is how much I've gone through in two days, right? This is a 500 ml jar. So I've gone through this much of it, plus a couple of bowls, little bowls we had, right? So I've been munching on this. And that's usually what happens uh, when I make jams, and sauces, and stuff like this, and liqueurs. I go ballistic for a bit, and then I calm down, right? I have my fill. Crystal Malone is probably my favorite director. Tarantino's probably second though. Wow, cool. Check a look at this. Now the jam we made uh, in the bowls, it was harder than this. So it didn't come out as uh, viscous as I had hoped. The sweetness is fine. I like the sweetness. But take a look at this. It's like in between a jam and a sauce, but I'm treating it as a jam. Uh, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Very delicious with with fat cheese. The pics I posted, amazing. Like something salty and uh, with a feta, tea, feta cheese texture. So good, so good. Are you vegan or vegetarian? Neither. I'm neither. Um, I'm. I've con I, I've I've reduced my meat consumption to when I was youth, younger by a lot. Right by a lot. There's days and sometimes, yeah, multiple days, like even over a week where I go without eating meat and stuff, but I'm not a vegetarian. One is my favorite movie is No Country for Old Men. Yeah, that was a good movie, man. I love how it takes his time and the fact that there's no soundtrack is amazing. Oh, there was no soundtrack. I can't remember that. Was that was that the border guard one? Chicho was proper omnivores, I believe. Yeah, I eat everything, almost everything. Anyway, I'll stop talking about movies. See, da, da, da. never seen it. I think it's on Netflix. Enjoy the movie. Nice. What's up, Chicho? Devil Elvis, how are you doing? And let me show you what I did with the pulp of what we milled. Right? Take a look at this. So I took the pulp, put it in this big jar, this is a two liter jar, added water, and the pulp is up to here, and I just refilled it so it's, it's not clear, because I gave it a, you give it a spin. Uh, here's, there was water in it from yesterday that it was sitting in the cooler, so it's like a, uh, it's, it's like a compote, or a Armenian called a sharat. It's, it's like, uh, basically jam mixed in with water, and you just drink it for summer, it's amazing. 
So it's like blackberry juice, but homemade juice. Really good. Okay. I'm just going to put this in the fridge. Okay. For that, you pour the water, you give it a mix, and it just becomes juice. It's really nice, really nice. Should we go through? Uh, let me show you guys what we got, what I got prepped. I got up this morning doing some prep time, right? My favorite movie I've seen is the, uh, in the last several years is Annihilation. I don't think I've seen Annihilation. I don't even know what it's about. Um, so I got up early this morning. Frosty Goblin, hey Chicho, first time I've ever caught the stream, love the videos, awesome, welcome to uh, your first Chicho stream, Twitch stream, uh, the, the cooking streams I love doing, man, really, so I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy, this is uh, the third food related stream that we're doing this week, um, because we went harvesting and had to make liqueur, well, if the harvest with blackberries, you got to make liqueur right away and make your jam and stuff like this. Apples I could have sat on, but I like doing batch jobs, right? As I mentioned before, I love batch jobs where you set stuff up. You go either do a whole bunch of math together, a whole bunch of comic books together, a whole bunch of food related videos together. Uh, it's efficient. It gets me in a sort of a meditative state where I'm just thinking about food <laughs> or math or whatever it is. Uh, let me show you what I did. We got three, went to, when we went blackberry picking, there's a field, open field, where there's four apple trees uh, that are there, that you can access, anybody can access, right? So I've picked apples from there before. Some, some years we make it when the apples arrive, some years we don't. This year, the timing was perfect. Blackberry, first batch was coming in, we picked blackberries, and on the way to pick blackberries, we saw the apples, we're like, oh yeah, we're stopping here on the way up. We stopped picked apples okay annihilation is really hard to describe uh, but it's a sci-fi movie with uh, Natalie Portman it's very surreal and somewhat horrific but it really makes you think it is on Hulu oh really that's cool I like Natalie Portman uh, sci-fi dystopian it sounds dystopian I'll track it down I'll admit. if you remember post it on discourse so I don't forget okay uh, this, what you see here is the cores of the apples. I just saved them. Uh, just because we, I picked a fair bit of apples, I don't have to cook the cores as well and mill it. So we're not gonna mill the apples today, okay? So our applesauce is gonna have the skin in it as well. I know that's not the pure definition of applesauce, but it, it is to me. The skin is has a lot of nutrients, it's good for you, and why not, right? So here's the pits. And these apples here are these guys. So I picked a whole bunch of these. I put, put the picks up. I love the bear annihilation and the mirrored bit at the end. Oh, I gotta check that out. So these are the apples on this one, okay? So I cut up a whole bunch of these. Now we have that much left, right? And this is a full pot. Ooh, I gotta turn on the video. <laughs> Hold on, let me do that again. I gotta show it to you. <laughs> the magic trick didn't work. <laughs> I need uh, the second hands to bring the videos in. Someone, let me bring the video on. Ready, ready? Here's the pits. And then. <laughs> right? So check this out. And what I did uh, to. <laughs> to make sure that, because I cut them up this morning. I was gonna do it last night, but I knew I was gonna, I woke up early just to make sure I was gonna have enough time uh, to do this, right? So what I've done, I poured water and a little bit of, uh, basically one lemon juice I split between three pots or two and a half pots. Two pots this size and one pot half the size juice. <laughs> so check this out. I filled it up with water and lemon so the apples wouldn't go black. Right, so what I'm gonna do right now is drain this and kick up the heat for this one. Get this one going, and then I'll show you guys the other two. Might as well get everything cooking right away. By the way, she shows speaking of reminders on Discord, are you planning on making that animated? Oh, odd Mick, uh, yeah, 
in the last couple of streams, I mentioned something. I posted something on my, on my Discord and stuff. Uh, I lost, I had a system crash. I lost my main editing hard drive. Okay. So, unfortunately, I had, I had, I had laid it out, the movies and stuff, um, the scenes, some of them, some of them I still had to research, but I had put most of it together. I could put it together in a day and we could do it, but um, I'm not going to be shooting any more editing videos right now because I had a system crash. Uh, my hard drive went kaput. <laughs> so I have to do an upgrade. It's, it's the nature of the beast, right? I can't, uh, so here's the apples and we're gonna kick it up, right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this on eight, okay? It should have enough water, I just drained it so everything's nice and moist and a little bit extra is gonna go down. Um, I might add a little bit of water later on, but maybe not. Okay. I'm gonna add the sugar right now. As far as the hard drive goes, Odmik, uh, you know what that that baby that hard drive has I grabbed that computer I um, custom built it right or I had a friend that knew about computers and I asked you know told him what I wanted to do and I wanted more and he said no 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 I should have got more what I wanted because he really didn't have a vision of what I really wanted to do I should have got way more internal hard drives in there I had two uh, two two terabyte hard drives and one uh, I already burnt through one SD hard drive the main with the programs on there so within two years I burnt through the main <laughs> two, three, two, two years two two years I burnt through the main SD hard drive so I had to really reload that and the, these two hard drives two terabytes each the main one one of them is backup I've been transferring stuff and I'm not gonna touch it because it's full and I gotta back things up more right but the main hard drive, 2 Terra, has been going hard since 2011 or so, right? Uh, so it did its job. <laughs> I can't ask more than that from the, from the guy, right? Or from the girl. I'm going to add two cups of sugar to this. And you know what? I'm going to add three cups of sugar to this. Three cups. Three cups. I'm gonna add three cups to this. Ah, hold on. So let's do this. Let's taste it. Uh, this apple over here is tartar than this. Let's have two cups to this for now. I can always increase the sugar later, right? At least it died. At least it died a hero. It died a hero. Really. Uh, respect to the hard drive. Uh, how many videos at least for the last seven years 300 videos <laughs> we were able, actually more uh, because some of the stuff I process and reprocess and stuff like this so that's a serious respect serious respect okay so <coughs> these are gonna be tart on the tart side frosty gobbler I like cooking when I have the time but baking or anything dessert like frightened me. Baking is more chemistry, science. I love baking. I haven't done any baking with you guys yet. Uh, we will. We will. Okay. I just uh, wing whatever I do. So when I need uh, uh, actual measurements, uh, I shy away from it. Yeah, baking, you need to be exact with it. With cooking, is different. Except a few times I pickle red onions or cucumbers. Yeah. Pour out a little applesauce for the fall. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a little liqueur, blackberry liqueur or something, right? The blackberry liqueur, process the blackberry liqueur, the original blackberry liqueur video, and the uh, original uh, 10 by 10 puzzle, and um, yeah, even the original comic videos it processed, right? Yeah. 
BDs, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, hope everything is well. Love your streams. Thank you, brother. Love doing them. Love sharing them. Bake some nozzles. I will. At some point, we will. And we might make them special nozzles. We'll see. We'll see where the regulations go from there. So we got this going. Nice. That's what we want. I might pour a little bit of water. I don't want the bottom to sink. I'm just going to hand pour this. Right. Nice. As long as you can hear the go down when the water hits it, right? The sound. Let me show you this one. Here's the pits. So check this out. These two pots are the same size, right? So let me turn on this guy too. This pot and this pot are the same size. This is how many core, how much cores I got at this one. And this is how much cores I got at this one, right? This one, the red ones didn't have, because this is just apples in a field, right? Didn't have that many worms or apples that had dents in them and stuff like this. So the red ones were cleaner. So all I had to do was peel this mint, right? Or cut up this mint. Now I'm not gonna keep these cores. I just want to, I saved them to show to you guys, right? These ones are these guys. Are these apples, right? So that's these guys. That's these guys, right? So here's the difference. Right. This is what we're cooking here. This is what we're cooking on this one. Okay. And these ones are a little bit on the tartar side. Okay. Spider beans, how are you? How's life? Check out this one. Right. This is the, I filled this up a lot, right? tartar than this. Do we have two sugars to this? I think we added two sugars to this. Right. Again, this has got sitting in water, right? Water and a little bit of lemon juice. And I'm gonna throw cinnamon sticks in these too, okay? So I gotta drain the water. I'm so, so terrible at baking. I love cooking, cooking though, yeah. Baking, I love baking. So meditative. You can't be interrupted during baking when you're making pastries. Uh, cooking, you can socialize and stuff like this and whatnot. Baking, you gotta be very focused with baking. It's pretty cool. Cool state of mind to be in. That's what we got basically full up right now before I add stuff here I'm gonna get this guy cooking there's one more pot I have here okay I have a bag of overripe apples uh, do you know if they'll be uh, any good for something like applesauce I don't know ripe apples uh, overripe apples you can make uh, you can format them I guess but I don't know if it'll be good for applesauce you need applesauce to be a little tart tangy I think and fermented apples go bad moldy fast I will usually use them for pancakes pancakes or something would be amazing but keeping long term you can make alcohol out of them but I don't know the process of that right I recommend people just learn to bake a simple white banana loaf yeah banana loaf and get really good at it it's a great platform to expand from all you need to buy is strong bread flour and dry yeast. Hey Chicho, hey chat. Nicholas, how's it going? Apologies, I'm late. <laughs> we're doing good, brother. We just started. Here's the first batch we're cooking. We're gonna reduce this. So let me show you this one. This is the pits I got off the third 
bad. So it wasn't that bad. And this one I want to show you is these apples here. They're green, super green, right? And these are like tart, super tart. And here, let me show you. This has got water in it too. So. Here, I want to move this guy. I'm going to put this guy. Let's do a little adjustment. Show you guys the pits so we don't need these guys anymore. Let's get the pits here. Okay. Let me adjust this. Move this guy over. Oh, okay. I need this guy. Here's these guys, right? And these guys, they're harder. And they're tart. Okay. And this is about half the size, 60% of the size of the bigger pots. So I'm going to drain the water off this, right? Okay. Let's add the sugar in this one first. And then we can I can move it to the element over here. Where's our sugar? My issue is that while I'm bad at baking, my boyfriend is rather excellent. So I make him be all nice. Let's add two. Uh, I want to kick the heat up on the element first. Get it warmed up. Let's add, let's just add two, two cups to this one. Okay. Because it is half the size, so it's going to be a little bit sweeter. Okay. Turbo doors. Thank you for the bits, brother. Thank you for the bits. Or, of course, sister. Right? Thank you for the bits and the support. Okay, so we got our sugar in this. I'm just going to do this to it a little bit. I want this to splatter. And this is very much along the same lines as uh, making the applesauce that we did or crab applesauce, the whole playlist that we have out there. Let's close this up. I'm kicking this to uh, about seven and a half. Yes. Okay, I need to give this guy a spin. And apples just break down, right, when they're cooking. Cutting, cutting up more, and uh, because when you cook it, it's gonna settle, right? When it would settle, I was gonna add more cut up apples, but three pots is plenty. I bring up this guy. We added three cups to this. We're gonna add three cups to this as well. And once this kicks down a little bit, I'm gonna add the cinnamon sticks to them. Lucidity makes me very happy. Nice. <laughs> me too. Me too, kids. So here's one. Here's two. And this has got two different types of sugars in there. Take a look. Uh, they're both cane sugar. One is uh, like we got that was fair trade. And the other one is just uh, uh, cane sugar. Hydrated cane sugar. They're, they're organic cane sugars, right? So we're adding three to this one. Yes, yes. This one. Now I don't think I'm gonna add any more, but we'll taste it and see where it goes. 
And the rest of this is just basically waiting for it to process. All right, for it to cook up. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to both of these. Just so we get the steam going, it doesn't stick in the bottom. also going to do is uh, I got tea going here so I'm gonna make our double pot the lids of this right uh, I'll do the whole double pot thing I'll show you guys once, once we start doing it so we sterilize the lids and what I've also done is got our jars in the oven right? most of the jars are going to be one liter jars like eight 500 mil jars that we're also going to use apple cider with the uh, uh, fermented apples yeah Nicholas how do you how do you do that how do you make apple cider you need a percolator right you need to put them in a jar the apples that are over ripen and you need to air what do you call it gas it out don't you Dante how are you doing what's going on he's making beer uh, pear sauce the same as apple I'm assuming it should be uh, I've never made pear sauce uh, actually I made let me rephrase I made apple with pear sauce and it was the same I cut them up like this and I cooked it down and put them in the pear took a little bit longer to break down if I remember correctly it really did. I'm all right, Dante says. And the smell of applesauce cooking is, or apples cooking is amazing, right? Okay, let's do that. Oh, this one. oh I haven't even turned on this one. Look at this, look at this. Six. This one we just turned on. Okay. This guy was curling the way. That's good. And we're getting into the splatter phase. So I'm gonna throw on my bib, my apron. Chicho. Megan Cupcake, how are you doing? I'm getting better at catching your streams. Nice, nice. You should 100% make an apple pie. I, you know what? I should, but I've never made a pie. I've never, I've made, noz, the, there's a pastry, Armenian pastry you make called nozuk, and with the dough of the nozuk, and it's fantastic, I've put apples with cinnamon and stuff. I made apple, I guess it would be an apple strudel, but I've never made an apple pie. <laughs> apple pie would be nice one day you know what I'm okay with trying it's the dough part I don't want to buy I want to come up with my own dough right the inside of the applesauce is straightforward it's the dough part that is the kicker right with the covering I've done it with the nazuk paste uh, nazuk uh, dough and it is fantastic. I love apple strudels. Apple cinnamon strudels, so good. Nice. Look at this, this is already breaking down. Yeah. Very nice. I'm kicking this gut down. We're putting it down to a four. Four out of ten. Okay. This guy needs to shake up a little bit. Oh, it is crispy. I've never had a strudel before, and now I want one. <laughs> nice strudels. I love strudels. I love strudels. I'm gonna put the lid like this so I don't splatter the computer accidentally. 
I might consolidate these two pots. The one that's further away from you guys in this one. Or with this one. Just because I'm down to one and a half computers. One computer that I can create content on. The other computer is just background work now. Um, I don't want to accidentally <laughs> destroy this computer. I've gotten close a couple of times. I was like, oh my god, so dangerous. Okay, good. This one's going at it too. Yeah. Look at that. That's what blocks. Check this out. Like breaking down so fast. Now, I'm going to have to cook this a little bit longer than if it wasn't, if it didn't have the skins on it. Uh, because I'm going to keep the skin with the sauce. Okay. I know that's like supposed to be sacrilege, but it's our applesauce, right? We can have the skin in there too. And apples are amazing for kumput, right? Now there's no, very little danger of applesauce crippling over. It really, it hasn't happened to me yet, right? Uh, and it, I don't think it's as likely as making the plum sauce and, or plum jam and other types of jams. This is perfect though. The rain is tapping on my window and I have you cooking perfect <laughs> nice awesome Megan I'm glad you made it or timed it correctly right yeah bro choose fresh apples cut them in chunks with the skin on yeah blend into a puree and make as many uh, batches uh, as you see fit please cheesecloth over a large bowl and pour the puree over it sear all the juice in airtight container stick in the freezer for two months or more if you can wait uh -huh. and then thaw the juice out it's a very simple way to make it and it tastes fantastic on a warm day what is this madness nicholas i gotta read that again nicholas post this thing on uh, discord under the food food stuff so we know how to do this uh so choose fresh apples cut them in chunks with the skins on blend into a puree and make as many batches as you as you see fit seal all the juice place cheesecloth oh it's good popping away oh, put it on discord brother that sounds fantastic oh good i'm getting hungry when we <laughs> nice calvin storm stop fighting it and put on your glasses oh i know that's true and the kicker is when i do this i can read that well thank you for this uh 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 troubadour troubadours okay uh this is so much easier but then when i start doing this i get a little dizzy so i gotta i gotta manage this thing lions hey chicho hey guys how are you doing lions welcome to another live stream cinder fan Hey Chicho, I made the strawberry liqueur you showed in one of your videos. It was good success and now consider do other fit, uh, flavors uh, when a bit got, uh, when you got better time. Though we get less warm days where I live, hopefully you can make a few flavors more before winter arrives. Nice. And you can make them in the winters too, uh, a cinder. I just like making them in the summers because I have access to fresh fruit that I can get and local fruit and whatnot. The pineapple is not local, but local fruit and whatnot, right? So uh, that's the reason I do most of it in the summer. And the winter is more consuming. Awesome, Nicholas. That'd be great. Got to look after those eyes. I know, I know. Sometimes, 
sometimes we don't take care of ourselves, right? Nice. Okay, we're kicking this down to three. Okay. The bottom is not sticking, so we're good here. This guy's going hard. Yeah, we gotta protect the computer on this one. Nice. Love having three pots going. I'm doing good. Had a nice chill day. First one in a while. Just finished two homemade cheeseburgers for their nice lions. The cheeseburger. I haven't, man, we haven't done the barbecue at home yet. It's been too busy. Pesticides. What's this thing about pesticides? That will help us. I love apples, but for some reason, I'm so. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, so double Elvis, I love apples, but for some reason I'm super allergic to the store-bought ones. Wild apples completely fine. Yeah, it could be pesticides. It could also be, from what I understand, in the stores, I don't know if they do this, but for a while there was a period where they put wax on the food, the apples, so they look, they look good, and I think they sprayed some kind of wax chemical on apples, because that way the pests have a hard time breaking through the wax uh, don't quote me on this this is i'm going by memory right? but it could be those as well i know that's happened to me before double this with certain types of foods certain types of fruits what is this applesauce sweet <laughs> <Calvin Storm. laughs> i've never had applesauce before either what do you uh, put it on ice cream? You could put it on ice cream, Megan, but um, you could eat it with yogurt. I put it in cereals, applesauce, right? So, and my cereals are usually, I have with yogurt. Uh, I used to have a little bit with hemp milk as well, but I haven't had hemp milk for like a couple of years now, I think, or a year at least. So with cereals, take some applesauce, throw it in there, and just in a bowl by itself, just eat applesauce with certain meats lamb and chicken goes fantastic right so just a little bit on your plate it cleanses the palates it is really good pork chops yeah pork chops and apple uh, applesauce oh nice yeah most commercial fruit is wax to keep it safe a fresh a fresh longer okay that is true that uh, applesauce on vanilla ice cream is the best. Oh, I don't think I've done that. I've done it with chocolate, though, I think. It's like when you eat meatballs with jam. <laughs> I've never done meatballs with jam either. <laughs> pork chops. Yeah, pork chops. Oh, look at this thing go. Look at the breakdown of this, right? Super cool texture. Take a look. It's like chunky to a degree. Smells amazing. I'm gonna put the cinnamon sticks in there. This guy is going crazy. Oh yeah, this guy is perfectly like mad. Okay. I'm gonna give this up. The green apple, because it's harder, it's taking a little bit longer to break down. 
But I am going to kick down the temperature on that because it's on a smaller element. I'm kicking it down to four and a half. I don't want the bottom to stick. And I'm going to take a look at this. Just make sure we're not getting any sticking in the bottom. So they had a bit of caramelizing happening, I think. the bottom just got it nice I should do it okay I'm gonna do this and I'm kicking this guy down too this element burns hot I'm kicking it down to three and a half I'm sitting at six and a half seven Take a look at this. So the skin is burning a little bit. I can even smell it a little. Right? Take a look at this. See that? So I definitely don't want this burning at all. Let me take that burn part of it. Take a look at this. See that? A little bit of burning going on. Let's get rid of that. It's just gonna give it a smoky flavor if it's not burnt too much. And it's not really, but yeah, we'll remove this. damage control. I'm kicking this guy down to a two. Just let it chill for a bit. This guy needs the cinnamon sticks in there. Kicking the far one down as well. This guy down to a two. I'm gonna close the lid on that. burnt stuff, take it out. scraping. There's some burnt stuff coming up. Let's do this. Put this in here. Oh. And if it's too scrapey,
just one side a little bit. And what you could do if it's you feel like you accidentally burnt it too much, you can dump this out, just clean the bottom and then put it back in and cook it. disappearing it's, it's the skins that are burning because it's not one chunk, I am going to do a little transfer action. Let's do this. Let's put the lid over here. Let's put this guy here. Let's do it this guy so we don't burn the bottom. I'm not that. Let's put this guy here. That way I can pull this guy over. This one's good, not burning, right? And we're gonna kick this down to one. And I'm actually gonna give it a little taste, but I'm gonna bring this guy over too. Let's do a little taste of this. I'm just gonna put it down inside to let it cool. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. <laughs> Take care of business. Look at this. Actually, if I'm not reading the chat, let's put the glasses away. Dang, that was a good one. I said I wasn't going to read the chat, but I read the chat. That was like... Nice. This guy's breaking down a lot. And here. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. Let's take this guy away. Let's get this guy white. Let's keep the work area clean, right? And let's get this a spin. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Serious splatters. Guy. So the far element, I'm going to kick down to a two. Okay. I'm going to transfer this. Actually, I'm going to leave this guy here for now because this is a bigger element. So let's do this. I'm going to transfer the apples from the bowl into here. And I'm gonna see how much burnt stuff is in the bottom. Okay. Because I don't want too much of it to be burnt, right? And a little bit of smoky flavor is okay. Uh, if it's burnt too much, I don't like that. So we gotta take care of it. And what I'm also gonna do is um, turning on the oven, bake, we're going to put it at 325 and unfortunately the fan is going to kick up the, the sound 
but what we're going to do is slowly bring up the temperature of the jars that way we can start doing the, the canning part right so i need this guy This is the applesauce from here, right? Take a look. Fantastic. Wow, 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 that is good. The red ones are amazing. I'm putting this down to a low one, okay? And I'm gonna pick up the burnt part from here. I'm gonna have to clean this guy. Then I'll show you guys one more. I just wanna taste this one too. Chicho, do you use any sugar in your applesauce? Yeah, I, we put uh, three cups into this one. We put three cups into the other one I'm taking a care of right now. And I think we put three cups into this or two cups into this. People can correct me if I forgot. And the sugar has a tendency to burn as well, right? Makes makes the burning easier. Sadly, I don't really know how to speak Danish. Here's the applesauce from the other one. Mm. Really good. Three cups was too much. The sweetness came out. But let me show you this. Take a look at what we did. We burnt the bottom, right? I gotta clean this. And that's what I felt is when you scrape the bottom, that's one of the reasons I scrape the bottom of the pots, right? You want to make sure the bottom is not burning. And if it is, you can feel it, right? So this one's clear. There's no place it's scraping. It's smooth. Let's make sure this one's going okay. Ah, I can smell the cinnamon. This looks great, great color to it. Fantastic color to it. Now I wish I cut up more of the red uh, too. On a one, this is okay. Um, what I am gonna do though, But I'm gonna get the water boiling for the lids, uh, just to sterilize the lids. stuff is is okay it's not a big deal again smoky flavor but that bottom part was too much let's 
like caramel, burnt caramel taste to it. So. Nice, take a bit. And this is sitting at a two right now. Here's our lid, the double pot. We're gonna put water in this, water in this. And I already have the lids. I already have the lids in this, right? And I already have water boiled from the tea that I haven't been drinking. So let me take care of this. So let's have a sip of tea first. Let's move this guy over. Bring the water over. Cool. We gotta scrape that guy. So this guy's going. I'm gonna kick up the temperature for the lids to about a four, so it stays hot. Okay. I'm gonna feel the bottom of this again, just to make sure. Yeah. This is good. It needs to break. Lots of splatter. This thing's sitting at a one, so that's fine. One and a half. This guy at a one is doing good. Okay. I need to clean this guy. There's gonna be water running and me scraping and I'm gonna be standing here. scraping the sugar when it burns at the bottom of the pot it doesn't it's so hard to get rid of so I'm not gonna take care of it now I'm gonna let it sit in water what we're gonna do is we're gonna jar these guys we're gonna jar should we mix this and this together I'm gonna taste this guy see if the taste can be compatible if it can be compatible I'm gonna combine them together I don't think so though I think I'm gonna keep this guy separate keep them separate and jar them separate right but what we're gonna do is jar this and once we finish jarring this, we're going to transfer over the apples that were in the pot that we burned. We're going to put it in this one and cook it up in this one because that scraping is going to take a while. That's a little bit of muscle work. takes time you gotta put baking soda and stuff and sometimes you destroy your pots if you burn the bottom when you're making these types of jams or sauces and stuff so you gotta be careful that was a big boo boo hit or I did we didn't turn it up initially so I kicked it up a little bit too hot right that's one thing with uh, cooking you gotta be patient don't rush Of 
these things spoon out. And then we'll taste the other one. Let's see what they're like. Look at the color on this. It's beautiful. It's got sort of a reddish tint to it. Apples are amazing. Let's have a taste of these ones. I'm gonna have to let this guy cool down a little bit. This applesauce is gonna be crazy hot, crazy hot. more viscous. Right? It needs to break down. So I push these apples in. Nice. This needs to cook. Look at it. Can you see it? Uh, it lifts up. Oh, it's got a hole here. Seal up the hole. It will lift up and it'll dangerous to do actually. I might get burned by it. So let's not do it. Okay, we do this. I sip of this. Let's have a taste of this. Nice. And where's our applesauce here? This one's tangier for sure. And the consistency consistency is different. Oh Casey, what bot is that? Okay, this guy's ready to be jarred. The jars are hot, so should we do, we could do a little bit of jarring. Free up this pot, that way we can cook the rest of it. Let's do, let's do some jarring. Let's see this guy. This guy's so thick. Crazy thick. Just mixing it is. Okay, let's put this guy here. Now we're gonna do our setup. Let's put this guy. Here. Let's bring our setup. I'm trying to set it up in a way where you guys see it as well, right? So. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Yeah, 
this is nicely steamy. Where's my thing, Richie? Okay, that should be good. I'm kicking up the temperature on the water and the, for the lids a little bit. Just to kick it up a notch, right? Make sure they're, they are sterilized, but just to make sure, right? Just a little extra. C-C-C. I think you have to use that command to get rid of it. Ah, oh, there's bot stuff talk going on. So, this guy is doing good. Let it just simmer. This guy we need to do. So, oh yeah, we need to make a little bit of space for the jars to go. So let me take care of that first. Let's put this guy here. This guy here. This guy here. This guy here. Okay. On this applesauce, you can feel the carrot, you can smell the caramelized uh, uh, the sugar. I'm gonna put this this rag over here, towel over here, because as soon as I move the jars over, I'm gonna put this on top so it doesn't air accidentally doesn't hit it where uh, the jars might crack. Okay, we got our lids there. We got everything going. We got everything going. So we don't need. Let's put this over here. We don't need the lid here. Let's transfer. I'm gonna put 500 mils jars. That's what I'm gonna do first. Actually, there's a couple one liter jars in the front of it. So I'm gonna take care of those guys first. Now we've got to remember, when we're pouring in, we're going to pour slow. skin in there. Gives it a sort of a color difference. Lids. We're gonna get this away. Okay. Put it in uh, boiling water. Just the top of this guy, and then grab one of these guys. Okay. 
pass our first drawer. Not bad. Let's put the bag on it. Cool. Let's grab another one. Still 500 mil. Again, not too tight. Kicking down the temperature on the water for the lids. It's splashing, so. Okay. Now, before we grab another one, I want to give this guy a whirl. Make sure the bottom is not doing nasty stuff like the other parts. This one is crazy thick. Look at this thing. Like, it's so thick. I'm gonna taste this one again with the one we have on the side. If the two flavors aren't that separate, distinct, I might um, put them together, mix them together.
do at least another 500 mil from here. And then I might pour the rest of it into just a bowl that we're gonna eat later. Do you hear that sizzle sound? That's exactly what you want. cinnamon sticks I might just add them to our liqueur because we had a liqueur of cinnamon sticks of apples that we made right applesauce previously of this stuff I'm gonna put into a bowl because we're gonna eat soon. Right, so let me move these guys. Move our workspace for put these guys over. And we got our cinnamon sticks in this too, so that's good. Let's put this good into this bowl. Looks great, amazing color to this. These red ones are fantastic. Really, look at the color on this. Eh? Beautiful. Let's just put this guy here for now. Okay, we're gonna transfer this over. This is gonna look splish, splish, splish. This has definitely got a burnt taste, a burnt smell to it. Okay. So it's got that uh, caramelized, uh, basically burnt sugar at the bottom where you can make for pastries and stuff. Right? But let me have a taste of this. <laughs> Bring it over my bowl. Let me show you the color of this guy that's coming out like this. Color on it looks amazing. Wow, 
What a unique flavor. Mmm. That is very good. Delicious. Okay, we're kicking up the temperature to this. To, uh, it is sweet though. So I'm going to see how sweet this one is. I might mix them together. I'm kicking this up to a four. Okay. Wow, I love that flavor. Too bad it destroys the pots <laughs> to burn. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's doing. Okay, we gotta taste this. This one's very thick. I think I'm definitely gonna mix up together. Like, look at this thing. Like, <laughs> like pouring it out would be difficult. If you kept cooking this down for longer, would it uh, become apple butter or is the process different? You know what? Apple butter, I, I really don't know. You, you're going to have to take off the skin. For sure, you would have to get rid of the skin. Uh, cooking it down, I don't think it would cook down anymore. Uh, the apple butter, uh, I've only made crab apple butter. And crab apple butter would run through... Like if this one I ran through the mill, I would call it apple butter, right? Because the skin wouldn't be there and it would have it would have gone through a mill, so it's really reduced down, right? Like really fine. But the reason I only do it with crab apple um, crab apples is because crab apples I'm not gonna you can't really cut off the meat of it and leave the core. They're too small. The whole flavor of the crab apple is with the core itself because they're so small. So when you when I cook up crab apples, you have to run it through a mill. You cannot not run crab apples through a mill. It's too pulpy, right? So that's the way I've done it. Um, what I call this apple butter, if you reduce it more, uh, yeah, reduce it more, get rid of the skin, run it through the mill, apple butter, okay? But for me, uh, crab apple, butter is amazing apple butter I find uh, it's uh, or applesauce I find to be like fluffy it's it's fun I gotta taste this again know what that tastes like let's check out this one I don't want to ruin the flavor of this one the burnt one <laughs> like really it tastes really good caramelized apple sauce let's mix it together and let's do it Because this is about half the volume of this, basically we are Oh, I don't know, man. This flavor is phenomenal. Don't ruin the applesauce. No, I'm going to keep them separate, man. If we ruin that pot for this flavor, I don't want to dilute this flavor. We sacrifice the pot for caramelized applesauce. We're not gonna touch this. Okay, I'm cook kicking this guy down to a two. Let it cook, let it cook. And while this guy's cooking, we're gonna jar, try to jar this guy. If I can't jar this one here properly because it's too thick, it won't go into the jars, then we'll have no choice but to mix it. 
So let's do this. That should cook and it shouldn't burn. So let's do that. So I can leave this guy. Okay, let's put this guy down. Ooh, come here. Let's move the lid. Again, I'm getting close to jarring, so I'm kicking up the temperature of the water that has the lids. This guy's crazy thick. <laughs> it's not even pouring out. I'm gonna need to use a smaller spoon to do this. It is what it is, and that's what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna do it. Take too long doing it. Let's see how this is gonna work out. Because if you take too long filling in the jars, then the jar cools down and it won't seal up properly. So let's see this. Yeah, this is what we're gonna use. forget to put on your mitts. We're gonna do one liter jars for this. Let me do a little. So I know what the flavor is that I'm jarring. Okay, put this on the side, because we're gonna have to taste it when it's cold. Kicking down the oven to 300. You're going to hear a beep mm -hmm. because it was already sitting at 325. Okay. Let's see if we can transfer this. Man, I might need to use another spoon as well. These are the green ones. We're getting a little burning at the bottom, so I'm going to turn this down. Turn it off, actually. It's just getting smoky. The smell hasn't hit yet, so it's not bad. Oh, a little loss of property. Or goodies. to settle. 
there's like little air pockets in there, right? So you gotta get rid of those. That's definitely too much. So let's take this down. Let's move this over and then we're going to take care of the pots. Okay, we got to take care of this. I'm getting a little bit of browning in the bottom. I don't want that. See that? A little bit of browning in the bottom. Let me show you. Even on a one, where I just turned it off, it was starting to brown a little bit. This element is crazy hot. Okay, that's good. Let's make sure this guy's doing okay. jar is just sealed if you heard it I'm kicking this guy up to a three very gentle this is the sauce for this this one tastes like your generic sort of applesauce really good tasting but classic applesauce this one Classic applesauce. Let's jar more. Now this thing, the temperature has dropped a little bit. Um, ah, it's okay, it's still steaming, so we do. Sorry about the noise. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Where is our spoon? some of the burnt stuff on it or brown stuff, right? So I'm gonna put that there, I'm gonna grab a new one. I've already turned this off, this element, so we gotta do the Speedy Gonzales style. Because we don't want it to cool down. be able to get one more liter jar out of this, which is great. Come on, settle down, settle, settle, settle. Air pockets, go away. Okay.
for sure after all the jars uh, cool down, you wash them. pushing it, but we'll try. We'll try. It's still sizzling, which is great. It'd be super cool to do this with like three different colors of applesauce, right? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. Layer it. That'd be amazing to see. Because all the colors of these are different. Next time. Next time. This is going to be like half a jar. Oh, this one didn't even break down. Look at this. Let's break it down manually. We got half a liter out of this one. What I'm going to do is mix in some of the other ones. Another one is sealed. Is this guy ready? No, this guy's not ready to be poured in. So we gotta cl close this guy up, Speedy Gonzalez style. So from this guy, we've got two and a half liters. Let me bring over this guy. Okay. Make sure the bottom's not sticking. Kicking this guy up to a four. Okay. Cool. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to scrape this guy off. Where's our starch? Nice. That's good. This is exactly what you want in the bottom, right? You don't want any burnt or anything. Mind you, that burnt taste is absolutely phenomenal. Let's put this guy here. Very 
very good. Classic. And we didn't even put any cinnamon sticks in this one. So I'm going to put a couple of cinnamon sticks in this one. Okay. Where's our cinnamon stick jar? Three in the red, oops, red colored one. And we'll put three in this one as well. Let's make ourselves a little bit of room. So let's take this back again. Now, let's put the lid back on this. So here's the lid. Okay, let this one cook away. song. Color into it. Fun. Do we need this guy anymore? Do we need this guy anymore? Do we need this guy anymore? So we're going to turn off this guy. Is it this guy? Oh, turn off the wrong one. Is this guy? Yeah, nice. You can see I got the pot sort of on top of each other with water in them, so it makes it easier to clean up. I do need to clean up these guys a little bit. This is a little too messy. That smoky flavor of this is insanely good. Or caramelized flavor. I shouldn't call it smoky flavor. If you see them, take them out. There isn't that many there. One thing I, you don't want to do if this stuff is burning, you know it's burned for sure. I wasn't sure. I was scraping it, I was seeing it. But once you know it's for sure, don't scrape anymore because you don't want to get the burnt parts into the into whatever it is that you're cooking up. Which we did, unfortunately.
Okay, I'm kicking it down to three and a half or so. I don't want this thing to burn. We already got one pot, it might be da da da. So <laughs> we'll deal with this. Okay, we don't need this guy. Get rid of some of the extra spoons and stuff that we have. Check out this thing. Here's the stuck stuff. Look at that. That one's gonna be amazing. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. That was pretty damn good. That was very, very good. Let's check out some of the chat because this thing's going. <laughs> Where do you get your jar, Shisho? I have a bunch I've saved, but it's a pain getting new lids. Yeah, the new lids you need to go and uh, just get new lids. And you don't need these guys. These guys I keep on using until they rust, right? Well, preferably before they rust, you know, when they when they get to the point where you can't you really use them anymore. So I wash them and then here, check, take a look at this. Like this one I probably won't use again. And the inside, yeah, like these ones I recycle, right? So I put them all on the side and if I see one that's like, uh, not good, I, I just recycle it and I don't. These guys though, these guys though, I reuse until I see the, is it enamel or whatever the seal is on it is not working well and it's a risk using uh, reusing these ones right the seal portion stuff because sometimes once you use them once they don't seal up as well again right so i usually end up using them two three times but no more than three times and if i see any marks on the bottom of them like for example do we have any no, I, I recycle the whole bunch. But if I see any marks on here, uh, I recycle them. I don't use them, right? Uh, because it's not worth it. Uh, so I go usually to a big, big box store and I buy the jars. That's where I get them. And if I need to, uh, we do buy the lids often. This one's almost ready to be jarred. Just bury the little burnt stuff. Oh, there it is. Nice. because it's coming off the skin now being heated up give it a little let's put this guy where are we gonna put this guy okay let's put this guy here balance 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 nice Burning the bottom of the pot can be a pain in the ass, right? So try to avoid if you can. I'm glad we changed the pot stuff, really. Oh, 
another one just sealed. Nice, nice, nice. We're losing a little bit of applesauce in this process, but must be done, must be done. If you see it, you take care of it. <laughs> hear the sound of it going Kicking it down to a one. Don't think it is. Mm, it is getting browner in the bottom. Okay, we're turning this guy off. We're gonna move this guy over here. Okay. Because there's no more heat coming off of it. I'm gonna kick this to a one. Let's change the angles Boop. Boop. okay and we'll do our jarring over here okay let's bring our setup here again how's this gonna work doing it this way If it becomes too difficult, I might switch it up again, but it should be fine, it should be fine. Let's do 500 ml jars first. Chunkiness here, but that's okay.
just because if there's all of a sudden a little breeze going through the glass is hot it might crack the last 500 mil jar that I have or that I prepped anyway wet the napkins uh, just a little bit right so it's wet napkin going over the top not just dry let's see take a look at this like I'm not gonna use this one let me see if I can show it to you see that yeah. so I just put it on the side usually I catch all of them but sometimes I end up reusing them This got cracked. I don't know if you guys heard it or not. This guy did not like it. Let's bring out of the drawer. If we get one more crack, I'm gonna put the lid on this, the applesauce, and uh, kick up the temperature on it a little bit.
this is going to be the last jar we're making. This should take a liter. Probably not a full liter. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a full liter. Turn this off. We don't need the heat on it anymore. Cool. So that's another half a jar or half a liter, 500 ml. We don't need that. Basically, ended up getting three liters of the smoky, two, three liters of the green one, and one, two and a half liters of the red, uh, red apples that we picked. I want to scrape this off. Is this hot? Oh, that's okay. Let's just do this. Because that's uh, yummy. I don't want it to go to waste. So let's do this. Where's our spatula? never burned the pot when making applesauce so this flavor is very unique usually it doesn't turn out good you're gonna hand hear um, truck outside it's garbage day today for us so let me turn off this camera there all right this camera as well let me show you one second. Pour it into the and I 
think uh, I'm gonna go get another uh, bottle of uh, vodka and uh, make one more uh, liqueur with these cinnamon sticks because we got six cinnamon sticks here and I like the cinnamon uh, cinnamon stick flavor for the liqueur that's pretty good <laughs> applesauce galore This is the the smoky one. Oh, I didn't save any of the. Oh no, that's the smoky one. Here's the red one, right? And we got one that's more uh, not as brown as this, right? Let me bring it out and I'll show it to you. So we got these guys. So keep this in mind. The red apples, right? So that one is these apples. These apples. Let me hold them up with the apples. So that's these guys with the skins. So beautiful color to them, right? Beautiful color. Okay. This one is these guys, right? It's a different apple. It, it's not going to ripen all red, right? It's stripy. But it has a brownish look to it because we burnt the bottom of the other pot, right? Very, very fantastic flavor. Really, I love it. And these green apples, okay, is this guy, this color. <laughs> right? This color, so it's lighter color. There goes another one, Seven which is great. And I have enough here, apples, to make at least two more liters of applesauce, but we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna keep these apples. I'm gonna find the ones that have worms in them, cut those out, uh, put them in water, or just make something with apples in them, right? Just cook them up a little bit. It'll be like, small bit of applesauce and the ones that don't have any worms in them they're solid apples they haven't no pests have gotten to them we're just going to put in the fridge and they'll last for a long time a few weeks a couple of months two to three months you can just have apples and you eat them right or a couple of months anyway okay that's what we're going to do apple crumble do it <laughs> apple crumble maybe i've never made apple crumble my partner has so she knows how to do she knows how to do oh there was another one ceiling that's the beautiful sound. It cracking is not the beautiful sound. Let me see. This is still a little hot, but let me show it to you. This is the one that cracked. Let's see if you can see it. It's right there with my, where my thumb is. Okay. Can you see? Can you see it? Can you see that crack? You see the crack, right? And it looks like it goes all the way down. Okay, that's the sound when I'm oops. when I'm pouring uh, the hot jams or sauces or whatever. The way I I do my jarring with the oven, when I'm pouring, you want to listen for that sound, right? If you see here a sharp, it's cracked. Put the jar away bring in the next one and if the next one cracks there's a big temperature difference between your sauce your jam your whatever and the jars so you need to adjust that temperature okay or they're just bad jars you're hitting up apple and cinnamon are just so good in dessert yeah here in england you can 
to beat a good old homemade apple pie. Yeah, apple pie. I gotta get into making apple pies. One day I'm gonna make you guys nazuks. Uh, I'll show you how those are done. And that's a secret like, recipe. That's like family secret recipe. Like, it's amazing. More. Nice. So this is fantastic. We have applesauce. How many liters? Three, five and a half, and three, I believe. So, I don't know, eight liters of applesauce, I guess we got. I guess we got. I'll take pics of them later and uh, show you guys. Okay. And that's not bad. That was a pretty quick uh, uh, two and a half hour, I think. Uh, 1.30 almost. We started 11. So two and a half hour uh, applesauce cooking stream. I did about uh, an hour and a half to cut, cut up those apples with the pits, right? This is how many apples that we just cooked up. And these are the pits, but and, I, and they still have a lot of meat on them. And some of them are the full apples. I cut them and the worms were in them and whatnot. I was like, forget about it. Up time, two hours and 24 minutes, nice. Right? So these are all the apple pits, the three different types of apples. So you can imagine how much meat we took off those. I didn't weigh them because it was going to be just too much weighing, too much, uh, uh, too much, uh, just minor adjustments and stuff, right? But that's good. Thanks for the stream. Show. My pleasure, Nicholas. Thank you guys for being here. The cider making recipe on Discord as well. Awesome, awesome. Maybe I do that with these apples. I'll check into it. I'll check into it. I got, we're going to make some room in the freezer. Thank you for that, by the way. Thank you for that. Uh, aside from that, thanks for being here again. That was, this was a good week. We did uh, like four or five days, four days, I guess. We did uh, three cooking strings, which is fantastic. Green tech. Always happy to see you making uh, anything, man. It's chill and gives me ideas too. Awesome. That was great. Glad you enjoyed, Casey. Please do. I will. I will. I'm pretty sure I will. I'm gonna look it up and we have a fair bit of apple here. <laughs> Good stream. Valiant, how's it going? Was silently watching the whole time. Nice, nice. I hope you guys are hungry. Go munch, munch. Uh, as for future streams, uh, uh, the odds are I'll probably announce uh, the streams either next Tuesday or Wednesday and we'll hit it up. Uh, most likely the earliest would be like next Friday. So it's going to be a little bit of delay. I need to sort some stuff out and whatnot and organize and got some work I need to take care of and whatnot. Uh, so expect uh, the next schedule to be put up on Tuesday and we might start as early as next Thursday, but most likely Friday, Saturday. Next week, we're going to start doing uh, our uh, next streams. Dr. Duros 101. Hello, Sansei Chicho. Hello, Chicho is good. I don't, I don't consider myself a, a titled entity. <laughs> uh, happy Chicho, maybe. Happy Chicho. That's a good thing. Okay. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. And uh, uh, I'll be around on Discord uh, and obviously YouTube, BitChute and whatnot. And I'll try to post some pics of some of the other things that I'm doing in the background. Okay. Lions, great stream, Chicho, as always. I'll enjoy my ice cold cider now nice enjoy enjoy take care chicho wish you the best till your next stream awesome awesome <laughs> so, okay. torbadores torbadores uh by the way thank you for the subs thank you for the cheers uh thank you for the follows and thank you to the mods for taking care of any business that needed to be taken care of okay have a good week uh you guys as well you guys as well Bye for now.